When Mumford High School student Deshaun Blanding drowned last year during a swimming class, investigators placed blame on the teacher who was supposed to be supervising. Well, now the case against that teacher is not moving forward. Local 4 defender Sean Lay live with more on why. And Sean, the judge, is pointing a finger at the school district. He absolutely is. First and foremost, Judge King putting this, uh, laying out this ruling early this morning. I called the family attorney. The attorney was speechless. Deshaun's mother has nothing to say about the ruling, but Judge King explained it this way. The bar here was set at gross negligence, and he said prosecutors failed to meet that bar. These cases just get sadder and sadder. 36th District Court Judge Kenneth King detailing the tragic death of Deshaun Blanding back in February of 2020. Deshaun was only 15 when he was found at the bottom of the Mumford High School pool during a swim class packed with students being led by teacher Kareem Sigler. Prosecutors say Sigler was distracted in another room when Deshaun was drowning. In a bombshell moment this morning, Judge King dropped the charges against the teacher, saying prosecutors did not show enough evidence to move the case forward. King says the negligent party here, the Detroit Public Schools Community District. If there's anybody anyone to really be blamed here. I think the Detroit Public Schools are at fault. Anytime that you have a single teacher in a swim class in charge over with over 30 students in a class, that in and of itself is reckless. When Deshaun drowned, his family was devastating, asking how could Sigler or any of the students not see that he was under the water? This is not, this cannot be happening. But I think it is a terrible idea to have any teacher teaching any class to have over 30 students, but particularly in a swim class. We asked them about Judge King's comments. Their statement today, we continue to mourn the loss of Deshaun Blanding. The school district swiftly investigated Deshaun's passing and upon determining that the subject employee violated district policy, the employee was terminated. In a wholly separate process, the justice system has determined that the employee's actions did not rise to a criminal level. We make no comment on that finding except that we will f forever remember Deshaun. Prosecutor's office tells me tonight they will appeal this ruling. We're live tonight downtown. Sean Lake, local four. Okay, Sean.